We're gonna attempt to make a bush trap. You know what I'm saying? Bush trap. Yep. Right, so we're gonna try it right here. So we'll try to make these as close to uh, the size we need as possible here. Alright. This. Alright, so you're gonna want to use plus uh, you're gonna want to use regular sticks, a little bit more weight to them. So we're gonna start off with these two. We're gonna take our rope. And we're gonna want to take enough. So I'm trying to get enough here to go at least two feet. That'll be optimal for me here. process if you have material that's easy snappable like this but uh, regular sticks and stuff you might have a little extra fun with so we're gonna try that on that side this on this side so this is how you make like a small bird trap so that way if you're hungry and you have nothing to hunt with and things are looking a little weak for you this is something you can do what is the bee doing climbing inside my bird trap can you go away i'm not really trying to mess with you guys today if you're not messing up that'll be good all right so this is what you're left with here okay eventually we're gonna do this we're gonna turn it sideways like that all right so the bird trap's not gonna be like this so we're gonna get this side here same thing tie it on all right this here it's probably gonna be much thing a little bit longer, but I know that my pieces are thin, so it's not going to have too much of an issue there. So boom, boom, we're tying that side now. So now we have this, like this. Now we need this side of here, like so. Let's tie that on nice and tight. And keep in mind, this is just a thrown together trap real quick. This isn't the actual material that I would use or suggest using. So we have our, our frame. Now we just need to do this here, okay? Now what we're going to do is slowly start weaving our pieces in here, like so. So you want that string over. The top like that you see yeah that's set up on? yeah all right it's the same thing on this side you want to go under the string over the wood under the string over the wood so now we have a small frame going here what's going to keep this together is the pressure of these strings okay so now as we build up we're going to our string our, our things get smaller so our sticks are going to start getting a little smaller as we're heading up so we're going to get a couple of these we made getting a little funky trying to cut these all right so now this is our second row here and this is going to go in over the wood and push that to the side okay here. same with this one see how we're staggering them with a log cabin so this is this way, and then the next way is this way, and the next way is this way. All right, so we're gonna get uh, this one to work. Yeah. Oh, master. Thank you. All right, so now we got this guy. Now keep in mind, as you go up, the sticks are gonna get uh, smaller, lengthwise, lengthwise. So as we go up, we wanna tighten these up a little every time. And really, we need the same size thickness sticks, but since we don't have the right material, we're just gonna roll with what we've got here, and that's gonna be these. So here, hold on. You're gonna wanna make sure you snap them at the right width. So you're gonna start with the thickest ones first, like these, the ends. So you get one end about that thick. You see? Can I see the rock after trying to put it? Uh, yeah, I might be a little aggressive, but you can try that. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so as we're stepping up here, we're keeping this pushed out to the sides. Alright, and it's starting to build our little frame. Alright, oh, is that the right size I need? Pretty high. I need something about this long. Yeah. So right, yeah, right about there. Good. Perfect. You got the concept. Making some pieces for me there. I'm gonna weave that in there. So as we go up, this is self-tightening, so this is gonna tighten itself up as it goes up. And for the final piece, we just put a piece in the middle that holds the pressure out. So as we build up, it gets stronger. Yeah. Okay. Alright, it goes in here like this. So, I mean, you could process your own pieces and then assemble it all together. Or you could do like we're doing and assemble it, you know, slowly, but surely. Either way, it is okay. Probably, yeah. Uh, it's a little too small. That's going to be a good piece for later, though. So okay. we'll use that one in another one. But, uh, yeah, you got it. So you got to make sure you see what I'm doing here. See what I'm doing? So these pieces, as they go up, they get smaller, like a pyramid. So at some point, you're going to want at least this right here. Yeah, okay. so right there. You can probably snap that one. Once they're small like that, they're a little easier. Okay, so. Bushcraft bird trap, guys. This is what we're building today. A little first for me, yeah, Joe. A bug? That's a oh, well, that's a pincher bug. I'm just in a bad spot if I get pinched right now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need all that today. Let's see. All right, so we need another one like that. Yeah, so we have two of those. We'll put that in here. I like it. See, see, as it goes up, it makes a little pyramid. Yeah. All right, so the bird's going to get trapped under that pyramid. That's the goal. So as you're down here, you want to kind of thread your pieces in so they're not going to be completely uh, out of the way there. Give yourself as much height in the middle as you can get. All right, Joe's got my next piece there, going. Good, thank you. I'm gonna grab this one real quick to fill this in, because those are good for the next one. So let me get this under here. Now as you're going, this is gonna get a little bit tighter and harder to do. So you gotta keep in mind the uh, way you're assembling this. It's gonna get a little tricky at one point. Don't get 
discouraged. This is me and Joey's first time putting together a bushcraft for a job. Uh, so we'll go higher, right? Higher now. Uh, so now we need like these. Well, that was good for like the, the one after this one. Okay. So we need okay. another one like that. Remember, try to use the thickest pieces first. Like this. this? Look, oh, this up, up at the ends. Like the biggest, thickest piece you can find right. has the pieces. So this one. All right. And then the one right after. And that gives us a little bit more height. So yeah, the thicker the piece, the more height we kind of got. There's a thick piece, right? Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, this is thicker. Okay. So try the thick ones, thick ones, and then uh, move your way down to the smaller ones. But it's coming out really super good. Bamboo is a great building material on a normal basis. Uh, this is dried out. We dropped this down out of the garden. Uh, what, two, three weeks ago? Oh, about three weeks ago, right? Okay. All right, that's a good piece. Let me get that one. Okay. Hi, you're right place. Now. Go in there. Get this in place. Mm -hmm. See, as it gets to the top, it gets a little trickier to maneuver the pieces, but uh, try to just work slow. Instead. All right, thick pieces. Oh, yeah, those two are good. Let me get this in the top. Good. And essentially, you kind of want the bird trap to be a little heavier than this, uh, because the weight is going to be able to keep the bird in the trap and have it not bounce out and fly out. So we're getting to the top now. Now, let me see uh, that other thick piece you got. Yeah, this, that one. Yeah. This is the thicker one. This is the thicker one. So we're going to want to use these two. Uh, off the bat here, this one. All right, so now we got our toppers here. These guys are going to be close to the top. Almost finished with the bird trap now. A little bushcraft 101 in the morning here with Jersey Joey. And Jersey Joey, get to hang out and do some fun stuff with us today, right? Yeah. This one? Should be good for right? Yeah, I like that. All right, so this, the one you got here. Sticker. I'm going to use on this. See, I have to keep one in the end to keep the pieces apart from each other. So, this in there. Okay, and then the final piece that goes in the top here, right, is going to be uh, a piece that has an opening on one side and an opening on the other, and it's going to fit in the groove there and well, keep them okay. from so going that. apart. So I need you to, it's hard because... I have to cut them in the middle, right? Let me see. you got to get it to... you got to kind of smash the end of it to where it has like a bump in it. Like a groove. Yeah. It's like a hammer. Yeah, but i got to get like a, like a notch for an arrow. Yeah. I need something like that, see? Like where it's going to catch yeah. this stick like that. But see, I just did it too far. Huh? Okay, what we need to do is get probably a regular piece of stick, not a piece of bamboo. Because right. okay. the bamboo's going to split, so we'll just use this right here. Oh. All right. This will work. So we'll just substitute this guy. And let's get that bronze open. Let's chop this. Thank you, That's it. So now this goes inside like the final piece, like this. And both those apart. <laughs> this is definitely not big enough. So, I'm going to have to go higher. Oh god. Uh, so let's go higher. Now you're cutting sticks, so I'm just trying to help cut sticks. Gotta make me feel left out. Primitive. Yeah, primitive skills. This is what people are gonna need that they don't know yet. But when they're hungry. A rock, bamboo, sticks, and strength. Mm -hmm. They're happy they will weave it. No, this is kind of one of those traps you kind of just set it and forget it. Yeah. This stuff. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh no. This one here, let me show you. I'm gonna try something a little different than I've ever seen. But it's pretty much gonna help pin this together. That's a new idea. Let's see if that works. That's the only problem with this is it's not a very durable trap. So that's the trap. And then you set this with a set stick. A beat stick like a um, like a like a um a figure four. One of the figure four traps? Yeah. So you set it with one of those. And it would sit up like this. And I split. the bird would come and take the bait. Right? Yeah. Off the beat stick. And Get a trap. it would trap the bird inside. But since this isn't really, the wood is super slippery. See, when the wood's like this with the bark and everything, it's yeah. grippy. It pricks to itself. It kind of locks itself. This bamboo isn't really, I wouldn't say this is an optimal material for my uh, bird trap. But this is the basic concept of the bird trap. It's not an exact way to build it by any means. Um, but yeah, for a beginner bird trap, I mean, this is a, this would be functional. Ow. It would fall apart after a few minutes of the bird flopping around. But uh, yeah, we if built you got to, If you got to it before it uh, flopped around, yeah, you'd probably get it. But. Yeah, that's the thing is you kind of want to keep your traps and stuff in eyesight too if you're camping so you can always keep an eye on. But yeah, this is basic premise of it. And uh, here's your bird trap. Yeah.